Example 4 says, suppose that the production capacity for a certain commodity cannot exceed 30. If the total profit for this commodity is p of x equals 4x cubed minus 210x squared plus 3600x minus $200, where x is the number of units sold, find the number of items that will maximize profit. First, we want to take the derivative of the profit function, and we get 12x squared minus 420x plus 3600. And then we want to go ahead and set that equal to 0. And all of the coefficients are divisible by 12. So I'm going to factor out a 12 from each of the terms. And then set that equal to 0. Now I can divide both sides by 0, and that gives me that. And that is factorable. So I want to find two numbers that add to negative 35 and multiply to 300. And negative 20 and negative 15 accomplish that for us. So we get x minus 20 times x minus 15 is equal to 0. And if we use the zero product principle, we end up getting that x is equal to 20 and x is equal to 15. So let's go ahead and use the first derivative test. So here's 15 and here's 20. And I want some test numbers. So I'm going to choose 10 and 17. So if I were to evaluate p prime of 10, we get 10 times, excuse me, 12 times 10 squared minus 420 times 10 plus 3600. And that's going to equal 1200 minus 4200 plus 3600. And that's going to equal 4,800 minus 4,200, which is 600. And that's positive. So I forgot to include. So because we're talking about number of units sold, it has to be greater than 0. And we're bounded by 30. So I'm just going to add those endpoints there. So between the interval 0 and 15, our function is increasing. Sorry, so the first derivative was positive, which means our original function's increasing. And then let's evaluate p prime of 17. That is equal to 12 times 17 squared minus 420 times 17 plus 3,600. And that ends up simplifying to negative 72, which is less than 0. So here, this is negative, and that means that we are going to be decreasing in the interval 15 to 20. And then after 20, maybe let's do 25. So p prime of 25 is equal to 600, which is greater than 0. So it's increasing again. So that means that we have a relative minimum when x equals 20, and we have a relative maximum when x equals 15. So potentially, our answer could be x equals 15. However, we do need to check the endpoints. So Let's go ahead and do that. So if I evaluate p of 0, that gives us negative 200. And p of 30 is equal to 
26,800, and we need to evaluate P of 15 as well. And P of 15 is equal to 20,000 and 50. So although when x equals 15, we have a relative maximum, the absolute maximum is when x equals 30. So let's ask ourselves, what is the original question asking? It says, find the number of items that will maximize profit. So selling 30 items will maximize profit. And there is our final answer.